Hello, this is Salvador Mendoza, and I present in this Blue Spoof 2. It's a Bluetooth board speaker that you can use it as magnetic shy spoofer implementing audio files. For this example, we're going to create a WAV file using the major math function scripts, which I integrate to one of my libraries. In this particular case, I'm using a Samsung Pay token and using the track number two, I create the JSP web file. So now that we have the web file, I'm going to connect it using my laptop to this Bluetooth speaker. The idea of this tool is that you can use it in different devices. It doesn't matter which kind of opera system is using. It could be Android, it could be the iPhone, or it could be a tablet, even a laptop or every kind of device that supports Bluetooth connection. In this particular case, I'm going to use the token device, which is the name of the Bluetooth speaker registered in my computer. I'm going to play the loop play in the Audacity so we can see the result on the text editor. In this particular case, I'm using a credit card reader connected to the USB cable, and I get closer to the Bluetooth speaker. So in this example, I'm going to use a Huawei smartphone to play the same WAV file. This, this particular case, it's already connected to the Bluetooth speaker. So I play the WAV file. And you can see, it doesn't matter which kind of device you are using. If it has support to the Bluetooth connection, it will work with this kind of device. Maybe you're asking yourself, what about the iPhones? Well, in this particular example, I'm using the iPhone 6. So I'm going to connect to the Bluetooth speaker, and after that, I'm going to play the same WAV file. It's very interesting to see how the credit card reader detects the tracks using the iPhone 6. When I push the play button and I get close to the credit card reader using the Bluetooth speaker, the credit card reader detects almost all the tracks without any kind of errors. Now let's talk a little bit about Samsung devices. In this particular case I'm using Samsung Galaxy S6H and it works very well using the same Bluetooth speaker. There is almost no errors using the Samsung Galaxy S6H, very similar to the iPhone 6. Also, I designed a Violent Mac project. Violentmac.com is a project that individuals can use it to transmit Mac try information from their web browsers using HTML5 support. So, any user can implement, for example, Safari using um, their iPhones and transmit Mac try information implementing Blue Spoof. In this particular case, I'm using iPhone 6 to transmit mass try information. And you can see in the background how the max try information is read using Blue Spoof on a credit card reader. Now the interesting part. Let's try to make a purchase using Blue Spoof. I'm playing one of my tokens using Samsung Galaxy S6H. And I'm going to select the product that I want to buy. Also, I'm using a Samsung Pay token to make this purchase. So now it's authorizing and now it's vending. Also, I got a notification from Samsung Pay that I'm making a purchase. So let's say that you finish spoofing and you decide to use the speaker again. So you're able to connect it directly to the Bluetooth the speaker board and use it normally. Applause for Salvador Mendoza about Samsung Pay tokenized numbers, flaws, and issues. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be in that front of the year. Thank you guys for watching and hope you like the Blue Spoof tool. And please, if you like it, subscribe and share it.